Hello everyone. Lothal civilization. Lothal, one of the southernmost sites of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, is located in the Bal region of the Indian state of Gujarat. The city's construction is believed to be have begun around 2200 BCE. History. The Archaeological Survey of India (ARSI) discovered Lothal in 1954. Excavation work commenced on 13 February 1955 and continued till 19 May 1960. After the core of the Indus civilization had decayed in Mohenjo-daro and Harappa, Lothal seems not only to have survived but also to have thrived for many years. However, its continual dangers, tropical storms and floods wreaked havoc destabilizing the civilization and ultimately causing its end. Architecture Lothal was a well-planned city with a grid-like pattern, streets crossing at right angles and well-thought-out drainage systems. The city was divided into a citadel or upper town and a lower town. The roads were paved with mud brick and topped with gravel. The presence of kilns, raw materials and artifacts has led to the identification of houses belonging to craftsmen such as coppersmiths and bead makers. Economy Lothal was a bustling manufacturing centre that imported pure copper and made bronze shells, chisels spearheads and decorations. It was at the center of the Harappan maritime commerce and beads made of semi-precious stones, terracotta, gold and other materials were popular as far away as Sumer, modern day Iraq, Bahrain and Iran. Culture Lothal was essentially a single culture site the Harappan culture in all its variances is evidenced. Uh, in, an indigenous Mikakias redware culture also existed, which is believed to be autochthonous and pre Harappan. The people of Lothal made significant and often unique contributions to human civilization in the Indus era. In the fields of city planning, art, architecture, science, engineering, poetry, and religion. Features of Lothal Civilization Lothal was a meticulously planned city with a mathematical grid-like layout. The city was divided into a citadel or upper town and a lower town, a distinctive feature of urban Harappan cities. The roads were paved with mud brick and topped with gravel. The presence of kilns, raw materials and artifacts led to the identification of houses belonging to craftsmen such as coppersmiths and bead makers. The city was at the center of the Harappan maritime commerce and beads made of semi-precious stones, terracotta, gold and other materials were popular as far as away as Sumer, modern day Iraq, Bahrain, and Iran. Lothal was a bustling manufacturing center that imported pure copper and made bronze shells, chisels, spearheads, and decorations. Decline Despite elaborate precautions, the major floods that brought the city's decline destroyed all but 12 blocks, which became the makeshift storehouse. Over time, a well-planned township was built, a hallmark of mature Harappan era coupled with a ship dock. The old village was split into multiple blocks of one or two meter high platforms built of sun-dried bricks, albeit only a tiny fraction is still visible. In conclusion, Lothal was a significant site of ancient Indus Valley civilization known for its well-planned architecture, thriving economy, and unique culture. Despite its eventual decline,
the city's contributions to human civilization during the Indus era are noteworthy and continue to be studied by archaeologists and historians today. Thank you. Bye.